My name is Ramon Del Pino. I'm Managing Director of America's Operation for AREX, Baltic, and MANOVA. AREX hired me to take care of control of this operation here. I've been here in Ecuador since 2009. Our company, AREX, is owning this place in Ecuador since 12 years already. However, our operation in Ecuador was starting around 75 years ago, and they start doing the business for floating. That was the beginning of the business uh, 75 years ago, during the Second World War. And also something for the army, pilots fighting in the war. After the war, the crisis came to the business of Balsa, and they changed to different business. At that time was for boats, big boats, to move uh, gas from one place to another one. At early 70s, everything of uh, Balsa was starting to move for boats for the infusion process of boating, together with the fiberglass. And the real industrial business was starting at that time. During the 70s also, we started our first business with the windmill industry, which was starting at, at that time. And actually, our business is basically focusing in windmills. The blades that you are seeing in the, in the windmills are all of them using balsa. One of them are using 100% of balsa, others are using 70, others 30%, but all of them are using part of the balsa. Balsa is the best material for producing windmills. The configuration between the fiberglass together with the, with the balsa is giving a exceptional mechanical properties to the windmills. Windmills are using balsa today. I'm basically coming from Ecuador. Ecuador is the main country producing balsa in the world. In our case, as uh, we are owning around 10,000 hectares of balsa, we are starting our process at the genetic improvement program that, that we have. What means uh, actually we are discovering the, the best trees that, that we have and we are trying to replicate them in a natural way. We are not using any kind of uh, genetic modification or something like that. What we are doing is seeding the best trees that, that we have and we are crossing them in an appropriate way. That is the beginning of our process. After that, we are seedling them in our nursery. After they are there around three or four months, we move them to our places. We plant them. The cycle of life of our balsa is four and a half years old. We are getting around three or 400 cubic meters per hectare after four years uh, growing balsa, which is amazing compared with uh, other species that uh, you wait for 25, 30 years. But that is the actual cycle that they will have, four years. And after that, we harvest, we process them in different places, we sow mill them, after that we rework them, and finally we produce these special panels for the windmills uh, industry. We are quite focused in the environmental issues that we are facing. We are certified by FSC. FSC is the Forest Stewardship Certificate that is basically a worldwide brand. In our case, our entity that is certificating us is a Rainforest Alliance, which is quite involved in the environmental issues here in Ecuador and also worldwide. They are quite well known. Customers know that when you are buying a FSC product, you are buying a product that there is a, having a high standard of uh, environmental and social issues, which are very important. Remember, we are in a poor country where our neighbors, sometimes they are getting very hard time to to get uh, enough feed uh, and we are helping them to develop some skills and to have a sustainable incomes. This is one of the oldest uh, plantation complexes in Ecuador. To the untrained eye, it looks like a virgin rainforest. It looks like, looks like virgin jungle, yet it's not. It's managed jungle, which makes it a completely renewable resource that they're managing very well. We keep 25% uh, of our land without any touch. It means that we are trying to keep some native forest that we have in some of our places. But at the same time, our balsa business is quite sustainable in the sense that we are harvesting them after four years, but after three months, we are planting again. Our soil is almost never, never without use. We keep the use of our land as much as we can. We have been already 70 years here, 75 years in, in Ecuador. The only way that you can sustain a forest business is to have a full commitment with the sustainability of the environment. We are working with around 700 workers in Ecuador, direct people that is working with us, but usually we are also giving employment to another 
thousand guys that they are around to us, transportation, people that is working. It is very important to have neighbors that they are agree with what you are doing, uh, to have people that is working with you. At the end of the day, many of our neighbors are working with us, working for us sometimes, or working with us in, in the other way. Then it is important to have a good relationship with them, and it is important also to have a good relationship with the government and all the entities that they are trying to take care about the environmental issues here. Carlos Hiller, the head of our nursery, he's in charge of uh, reproducing our best genetic material in the long run. He's an Ecuadorian guy, he's uh, self-educated, uh, his knowledge is coming from the experience that the, he has from the forest, quite committed in, in, the, in the business, and he has been already with us more than 20 years. Marco Salina, he's in charge of uh, operations, uh, harvesting operation. Basically, his main duty is to try to keep the supply chain of our material in our factories, taking a special care of uh, harvesting and transportation of logs and material from the, from the forest. Other people in our company, which is taking care of every place, we, we call them guardianes, guards. They are taking care of one farm that we have, and they are the owners of that place. Usually that people is living with their family in the place, and they keep uh, control of everything that is happening inside. We are exporting around 120, 150 million US. It's a big amount for, for the country. We are of one of the top 50 companies exporting uh, material from Ecuador. There is something in the forest business that the people love. Uh, there is something related to create something from the very beginning. Sometimes you can see our product in the market. You remember that the, that product was starting from a very small seed. That makes the people very proud when they can see how they are doing all the process from the very beginning of the process until when they can see some of them probably in a windmill in Netherlands or maybe in a windmill in Denmark or maybe in a huge boat in uh, Miami. I, I think that, that makes the people very, very proud about what they are doing. Uh, probably that is the issue that the people is quite committed in the company. They feel and they can see what they are doing.